Greetings. Yeah, I have a small man cave project that I'm working on here as opposed to all the mechanical stuff that I'm usually doing. I have a old traffic signal that was uh, I collected it was in pieces. Back a long time ago I, my summer job was uh, working for someone that installed these. We uh, did construction installed intersection traffic intersections. So there's a few of these that I collected. They're sectional and there were some that were broken. I epoxied back up and etc. So I collected enough to make a uh, small traffic light. So I'm going to uh, kind of get that rigged up for the man cave. I thought that would be a good toy to hang in a corner for the garage here. I've got a uh, an old uh, power supply from a laptop and I worked for uh, electronics company a long time ago as a product support engineer and I had to purchase this small GE Smart Relay. It's a small PLC, kind of a standalone uh, with a stand, you know, a plug-in programmer. They're uh, much, much, much more advanced today. Uh, but this I bought to, to do a project that I was doing at work with a variable frequency drive on a small motor to test uh, noise etc etc so it uh, I did my tests and that and then it sat around for another six or seven years and, and did nothing uh, in a corner collecting dust and uh, when I left I liberated it figured it could be uh, used for a, a small project so it was never going to be used at, uh, at the company again so I'm going to take my small PLC I will uh, this is designed to run an AC obviously for the traffic signals. So I'm going to rewire everything on the light side for um, low voltage DC. So I've got some uh, compact fluorescent lights I'm sniff cutting off basically and I'll run all the secondary circuits will all be low voltage DC and we're going to uh, um, hand make up some LED lights. So I'll do some LED, uh, a board platform and get some LEDs. This is basically my diagram, so I'll have a bunch of LEDs in here, make a large plate of LED lights, so that'll keep things nice and cool and uh, not pull much current. I'll power the LEDs, and so the secondary circuitry will all be uh, DC off the old transformer. So I'm doing all this with a, uh, a young lad. My colleague's uh, son just started in electronics technician course at a local community college and I would uh, figured I was going to do this later on in retirement but since he just started the program uh, I figured we'd do it together and he'd get a, a little bit of a kick out of it and a head start on some of the stuff he's learning this year so so there's uh, there's the goal anyway so I'll have a traffic signal uh, hanging in the man cave controlled by a small PLC and uh, I figured that would be kind of cool and I'm doing it now because uh, Andrew's heading off to college so we'll uh, get him involved and get him wiring stuff up and do a little training with him. Anyway, I'll give you a little update once it's done show it to you. Cheers! Uh, we're off the rails a little bit. We went out to the electronics store, picked up some white LEDs, asked them to, uh, you know, asked the guy how uh, bright they were. He stuck them into an LED tester pushed the light and, and uh, just one single light was like super super bright but then we get home and actually uh, wire them up to the rated current and uh, not so bright anymore uh, it takes quite a bit of light to actually shine through these lenses and that was just not going to cut it at all uh, nowhere near bright enough so so that was uh, we we're going to actually build them on these proto boards here solder them into a circular pattern and uh, mount them inside the lenses but that's uh, off the rails so and the super 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 bright ones you see on uh, on the internet are, are really pricey so anyway so I went to plan B thought okay let's see what I can get on a prefab so these are seven inch LED um, turn tail lights so you power them up and uh, nice and bright but of course everything's red so stuck them inside and the red shining through the green and through the yellow look horrible uh, not so bad through the red and um, 
so I said, okay, well, the, the uh, lens actually screws on. So I took the four screws out, took the, uh, that top lens off to expose the LEDs, turned them on and they're red LEDs. They're not actually white LEDs. So, so that's out as well. So at this point, to move forward on the project, we're going to um, leave it at 110 volts and put regular bulbs in there. The actual traffic signal bulbs are, are these heavy duty clear guys, but uh, I'll put two, I've only got two of them, so I'll put those two back in and get a third regular bulb. And uh, I'll just, uh, you know, it's obviously pulling a little more current and there'll be a little more heat build up in there, but uh, it's not the end of the world. They were designed for them anyway. Um, I was just trying to keep things a little voltage as far as through the uh, contacts and that. So anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll wire it up with 110 all the way through for now with regular light bulbs, and then we'll continue to search for um, high high visibility, low current lighting source. And also there was a bit of a challenge with the power supply. This has been cut open now, the one that we were using off of the laptop adapter. I was kind of hoping that um, you know, we just would have had a regular old power supply. I was uh, describing what one looks like to uh, to Andrew, the uh, young lad that's in the course. And of course, it's a simple power supply is just a transformer, bridge rectifier, um, one capacitor uh, heading into the regulator, regulator, and enough uh, capacitor on the output, and that gives you a pretty nice flat signal. And that'll drive current until something fries if you don't have a um, you know if you don't have a fuse or anything in a circuit. So. Uh, the power supply, when we started hooking up LEDs to it, the voltage was all over the place and uh, obviously this power supply is not as simple as one transformer, two capacitors, one rectifier, and a regulator. So uh, that's obviously got a whole pile of sensing components and that probably to, uh, and probably a lot more filtering and a lot more shielding to uh, uh, feeding into the power, or into the laptop. So, so that is basically junk for the project. Because um, if we could find LEDs that would work properly, then we'll just build a small power supply and away we go. But uh, So for now, we're into Plan C, which is just to uh, hook it up with regular incandescent bulbs the way it uh, was designed originally. We can do the wiring up as per normal, and then if I can find a low-voltage high-light source at some point down the road, we'll just take a little, a little bit of rewiring, nothing major. So. Anyway, it's just a fun project. It's not, uh, it's not like it's got to be perfect. So I'll uh, give you a little update once I've got... Uh, I'm going to mount this on the back end of it. It's not going outside or anything. This is not an outdoor PLC at all. So mount this on the back end near the bottom. And uh, then we can get doing some wiring. I'll let you know when it's done. Cheers. Hey, it's Socket Man here. Just a quick update. The uh, little side project of traffic signal is complete. I had to uh, abandon the low voltage idea for the bulbs, even the uh, the uh, city, the region, I guess, is having challenges, different challenges. Um, I don't know if that's red on the camera or not, it certainly doesn't look so on the screen. So, um, yeah, they're having problems up here in Canada. Of course, we get snowstorms with the, uh, the special bulbs that are in there. They're just basically heavy duty incandescent bulbs. There's heat generated, which melts the snow if you've got a driving wind. Uh, they're starting to convert over to LEDs for longevity and power saving, but now there's no heat generated, so now the snow builds up on the lights. And um, it doesn't melt off, so, so now they're wiring up some other bulbs inside just to... Uh, um, provide some heat. So anyway, we got it all finished up. It is running on 110, so I'm going to put a little uh, cover back here. But we've got the PLC all wired up and functioning, and I just programmed in. Um, it's just got a small handheld programmer plugs in with a telephone wire, basically. And I just programmed in a, a normal sequence: 15 seconds of green, uh, five seconds, no, three seconds of yellow, I think, and 15 seconds of red. So didn't get too fancy. Anyway, there's my little uh, man cave project. I'll get that hung up somewhere, either here or in the new, in the new shop. And Andrew had a good time, and uh, he's going to come back. We're going to do a little bit of sample programming, uh, just to play around with the uh, ladder logic. So, anyway, there's my uh, quick little man cave project.